Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to our everyday living. Thought I'd bring you along. Show you what I do with these washing machines. How I actually get them off the vehicle and that sort of thing. Alright, like I was saying, this one's not worth much. I'll plug it in and find out if it works though. Probably got a problem somewhere along the line. It's got a very long cord on it, I'll give it that. So if it does come up with a fault, or it doesn't open or something like that, we'll find out straight away. Got a very long cord on that. It's so easy to get it off the little car. Just tilt it back and away we go. Let it fall onto the trolley. Bring it up on our concrete slab for testing. Plug it straight in. Grab the cord so it doesn't flop down. That's that one. We'll just put it on a spin cycle. If it's got a pin spin cycle, an ordinary just spin cycle, we'll have a look first. It may have. I don't think we can open the door. It's one of those ones you've got to have it plugged in, powered on. It has got a spin drain. That's good. So we'll do that. Yeah, we've got to have it plugged in. Oh, something's going beep at me. Oh, battery charger. I bought a new battery charger for the high touchy batteries. The one I had stuffed up. So, um, yeah. Power. Give me power. There we go. It's powered up. It unlocked. Geez, we're in business. Let's see if it's going to do a spin cycle. Lock. Uh, we're on the quick, go down to there, yep, spin, 15 minutes, where's the start, I think that's it there. Well, might be a goer, got some crap come out of it, pump sounds to be pumping, I can't get into that one, I have to get a screwdriver, it might be a goer, these ones here, they don't go for much. It's only a six and a half kilo, maybe. Should say on the back. No, they don't. This one don't. It's probably in on the door there. Anyway, while that's doing that, see if it's going to power up and spin up. Pump works, that's the main thing. We'll get this one off. I've got another point I can plug in. Oh, come here. It's spinning, so the motor's okay. Oh, come the popper. Get off. It's stuck. These are the heavier ones. Front loaders. You know, it'd be good if we've got two good machines. Instead of scrapping out, get more money this way. But it's not the matter of the money side of it. You know, I enjoy fixing them. It's more of a pleasure to me. Oh, come down, come on. Down you come, down you come. Thinking, oh, well, I've achieved something. I've been able to make something work again. We'll go between us here. That's what I look at it. Well, I should say the way I look at it anyway. Uh, is that gonna stand on that hose? No. Grab the cord, save the door from banging open. That's there. And we'll get to and unload the rest. Get that off there. Come here, cord. Another one over here. Sit that up there. No water turned on at the moment. See if that powers up. I'm not going to worry about where the hose is. Yeah, that should be fine where it is. Ah, power. Oh, geez, that's a fancy one. Fancy dancy. Do, 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 do. Has it got a spin cycle? Certainly has. Drain. Well, we don't need to drain. Come on, go down one more. Geez, you've got to spin that pretty quick. Um, yep, yeah, we'll go that, we'll go that. We'll see what happens. Seven kilo. 
how good and clean is in oh geez that is very clean it's pumping out yes it's pumping out we might put that down the ground get that hose out of the road pop that down to there put that down to there I've got a hose that usually comes between here it's all here at the moment I just pushed it all around the road so, uh, as you all know we had to go away June's doing well come here June oh don't spill our wire up there yeah we'll get that out too dishwashers we just put them over here just scrap them out now what I was explaining in last night's video this part here is actually your stainless so once you undo all your screws you can just pop that off so easy you've got a solenoid in here like a little actuator solenoid for your detergent to go through um, all the plates down in the bottom here that one's stainless and all that is stainless not all your plastic of course um, once I've, once you've got it all apart you can actually get to with a grinder if you want the decent decent price for stainless and not throwing it in as say a shred or pressing steel because that's what I can do and I get a lower price but it's quick and easy get the plasma cutter cut it off 30 seconds and it's off so makes it so much easier a bit of power and a bit of air compressor no no cutting wheels involved and that just comes off I don't test washing uh, dishwashers washing machines I'm testing one now testing two. Oh, they're both spinning okay we'll get this off then we'll get our wire off they, 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 these have got concrete in these too washing machines have two but um, they've got a little bit more like the washing machines have got a little bit more than these so you get a lot of waste get down to there drag this up here we've still got some stuff here we've got to pull apart the old TVs hang on to the circuit boards out of that like your circuit board in the TV it's got gold plates and that sort of thing on the bottom or maybe up the sides sometimes across the top too I've only Worked that myself by do I need this? I do need this. That's still going okay. It's got six minutes to go. Grab that. Oh, we got the two batteries in there. Oh, we busted the box. Come here. There we go. We've got our bag for the for the bottles and cans. Up we go. Now that comes out of there. That's got to be pulled apart or I might even put a cord on it find out if it works. I might do that. Not at the moment though. I'll do that later. Put it on the bench. It's a nice LED light. I picked up another one like that and it's now hanging up top. Yeah, we'll sort that out straight away. That can go over there. Bottle there. That's a good strip and stuff. We'll put this aside to sort out later, I reckon. Just get out the batteries and the steel. See them I'm right next to it all. Test those batteries, see if they're okay. Another one down here. How many do I get? I think I've got two, maybe three. Not sure. Ooh, the top's being broke off that, don't matter. I'm not using them for great purposes. Line isolator. Well, wow. wonder how that works. Line source. Hmm. Another bit of scrap. Get that out of there. Put that over there. Hopefully June gets well soon. And you come down and do some wire stripping. She's got a rest for oh, probably a week or so. So, ooh, fancy bloody bit of gear that. Something to do with security. Mm, she's not much of a board. Bit of wire on it still. Put it over here. Get that little bit of wire off later. What else is in here? What else did I put in here? Oh, there's a bottle down there. 
put that in our bag. Well, they seem to be working all right. What's that? Eight minutes left, three minutes on that one. Yeah, I think just take this over to the, to the bin and we'll sort it out later. I reckon we'll get all this unloaded. That way we can get back to this. We'll get back to the, the wash machine. More in favour of doing that than doing this. Most of this stuff's all foam cord, so it's all low grade. Um, I've got to really go short and sort it out anyway. That piece there's a strippable piece. You've got strippable pieces there. They're big pieces. Um, well, they've got good copper pieces in that. So, um, yeah, we might sort that out later. Not on the ground. There we go. Bring it over here. There's all of our low grade goes in there. Extension cords, that sort of thing. That's what they class as a low grade copper. It goes in near the blue one there. Like that there. Might have some aluminium foil in amongst that too, which goes over this way. Got a whole heap of motors to pull apart. All the center pieces. We drop some wire. Don't leave the wire on the ground. That into there. That's got to be fixed up and chopped off. Put that in the box. That seems to be working okay. Might have scored some good ones. Oh, it's ended. That one. All right, test these batteries. Got a whole pile and sitting over here. Bring that up here. That's still charging. Where's the multimeter? Multimeter's in here. I've got some dryers to fix. Might have some videos coming out on that. I've got a washing machine I've got parts for. So, yes. It's all happening. All right, now, if these are about the 12 volts, we will put them on the solar charge. That one's dead to the maggot. That one's dead to the maggot. They both only got three volts. So they are going over onto the battery pile. <sighs> do, 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 do. It's always a maze through here. We even had some batteries ourselves that didn't work so we put them here, these AGMs here. They're over 10 year old. There goes the air compressor. Um, yeah. Look, they're over 10 year old, probably 12 year old or more. Don't turn this compressor off. Didn't realize it was going. Noisy bugger of a thing. Be quiet. Right. So, that looks like it's a good one. That looks like it may be a good one. Dunno. Um, there's the soap dispenser. It needs a good clean. Does need a good clean, that one. We'll have a look at the filter down the bottom. Same as, pardon me, that one there. But we're gonna finish unloading here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Some cans down there. Get that into that. That to there. Right, this stuff here can go straight over here. Fill it up. That's where the that goes. It's the advantage of having these here. I'm not putting it on the ground. It goes straight into the vehicle, straight into there. Except for the good stuff like that, we're going to go through and have a look at that. See whether it's worthy, meaning whether it's worthwhile actually scrapping out. Well, it's got a bit of brass in it, so it's probably worthwhile scrapping. What was that? Oh, that. Sometimes you forget what you put in. You second guess yourself sometimes. Right, we can get 
may be able to pull that apart. A fair few of those and get the cast alloy out of those. Come here. That bit of strapping we picked up too. There we go, we've got more down here. Ah, another one there. Right. The neutral board. We're just gonna scrap that out. Oh, you would be a difficult person doing that, wouldn't you? That there. hose put it over here it's just our process and pile so we know what we've got to strip and stuff like that I can go straight over there usually I've got that IBC port turned up so we know what we're doing a bit of wire there. That there. Well, that's that aluminium piping. What's it for? Aluminium intercooler pipe. 45. Hmm. Then we go straight in aluminium. Grab that. Only got to chop the ends off that. over in the wire that way we can process it as we go because there's some other stuff in there so intercooler pipe if it says it's aluminium it must be aluminium gee definitely alloy domestic alloy get out of there that's the trash Trash goes in trash. There. Got to have things close so you don't have to walk very far. That's what I've always done. All right, seat covers. Haven't showed someone else that. We'll get to and test those machines tomorrow, probably, after I finish work. All right, that one there. We're going to take the brass out of it and get to with the the uh, plasma cutter and cut of holes in it and whatnot. Do the big spring. Uh, there's also a spring in the other end where you cut both springs and it's safe to undo. So yes, now getting down to these big heavy things. Get the bolt out of there. <coughs> Weigh a hefty, probably 200 kilos, maybe. Sit them on here. That can go that way. Only take three at a time. Just gets too much for the old barra. Right, fingers in there. Try not to jam them. Lean back. I'm going to go and put them in the pile. I've got to drag it actually. Can't push it. It's way too heavy. Oop, don't fall off. Here we go. Got me pile right here. to put a shed up over the back over here so I took up a lot of room all in there got a project going that probably won't go on YouTube got a project going underneath that tarp there so that's something we used to do many years ago so um, just trying to finish that sort of a project off 
and we started YouTube. Get off. Should be. And that one's got a bolt on it, so that'll come off. And that one's got a big, massive spring in it. They all have. So you get the cast aluminium out of it. I'm all for aluminium. Definitely all for it. Still worth money. Just steal that one. Been busy putting railings in around here, all the broken ones and whatever else today. No mechanic work to do, like mechanical work meaning um, no tractors or anything being, being driven or anything like that, no mowers um, need repairing. Just been on a boring machine, handheld boring machine. You've got a handle like this. I'll take this over and show you what I'm talking about. Digging holes, circular holes in the ground. Yeah, it's still in here. This thing here, that one there. Right, you've got to drill the hole manually. Uh, nasty bit of gear, hard on the shoulders. Same as this one. Yeah, you, know, you find one that's already had a plastic um, downpipe already put in the ground, so you got to use that one and get the old old piece out. This one here's for when you're just trying to dig a normal hole, circular hole. So that's what I've been doing all day, running around putting replacement posts in. All right, we'll get rid of these. We'll go and stack them on the other three. This barrel has been in many places, I tell you. The fella that give it to me, he used to put his boat on, getting it down to the water. And he sold his boat and he says, I don't need it anymore. Do you want it? Oh, I didn't back down on saying no. It's one of those things you don't back down and say no. When someone's giving it to you, go down one. So we have three, five, six, seven at the moment. Sit this one up on top. And we've got some small ones there. Oh dear. That'll do those. What have we got left? I think we've only got the cans left. Better grab a container for some glass. Yeah, we've only got cans and cans left. And a brake drum. Get a tub for the glass. This one here should do. I've got a pile of glass in there. Got to get the wash machines out that we packed away before we left. Ah, jump up there. That over there. What's that? Oh, that can go in there. When this one gets full, we usually just, I think that's stainless, we usually just um, pull this one out of the road and move it along and put this one over. We've got to keep the trailer basically free. So whenever someone says, oh, come and get a load, you know, come and get a wash machine, things like that. I do look on Facebook Marketplace too for free ones. Keep me going. Most of the time I'm busy working here and I can't get away. Go up there.
Passed out with him. Right, what have we got? Cans and bottles left. It's a glass one, come here. Glass and that. No more glass. There's a bit more stuff there. That there. Right, bring this one up. Tell you what, it's been very cold here lately. Down to the minus one and all that. Put that on the ground for a second. Need a bit of water around here. Uh, that one there. That's got water in it. Put him up there, he's got too much. Same as that. Put him in a bucket. Those two have to. Bit of alfoil there. That one needs pulling out. A lot of water in that one. Same as that and that. You get a lot you've got to sort out sometimes. I'd rather water a tree than water the ground. Yeah. Sometimes you can get up to at least 15, 20 litres just in some of these empty ones. I'll get the heat gun onto that and I'll show you how that how I do that too with those ones there. You get, if you've got a sticker on them from when they've gone through the shop, you just need a heat gun. You just gotta be careful you don't burn yourself. That one's got tape on it, put it there. We will be doing a video on the cans. Just need to probably fill this bag up. Get a few more and uh, probably another bag would be nice. So we can put three bags through. It's got water in it. All right, well that cleaned that out. Just thought I'd bring this along and what I do for when I'm unloading the car. How I sort things out. Check that out, see if it's stainless. It is. Goes in that bin there. Right. Where's that bucket? There you go. There's a bucket there. Do these water bottles. Or oh, we can go and water a tree. I put the fander in there as well, so it doesn't really matter. It's still watering the tree. The fander has water. It's just a flavour and a food colouring. Same as the Pepsi. If you leave a Pepsi or uh, fans are out in the sun for, oh, I reckon, like if you've got scorching hot sun, probably for six weeks, it just goes to clear. Because it goes flat in the first couple of days. Because I'm adding extra water to it. I just pour it against the stump of the tree. Got one over here that I've been trying to keep alive. The tops are dead on it. It was looking very sad when we got here. Very, very sad. There was no leaves on it, nothing. Well, this time of year there wouldn't be any leaves, but that one's a lucky one. It's still got his leaves. Only because I've been doing this. We had no water for oh, probably a month, four weeks here. Because they cut the irrigation off. We're all on irrigation water here. I just lost that label. Come here label. Come here label. Get on there. Get back on there. You're not staying off, you're going on there. That there, last bottle. 
Is that one empty? Yes, that one's empty. That's a fair bit when you look at it. Right, bring our bag up here instead of cutting them down there. Now, if anyone's asking, I don't know where to get these bags from. I did have someone comment, oh, when I was out collecting cans and that sort of thing. Um, I think that was going back last year sometime. Video back and more. Um, where to get these bags. I actually was given some of them, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to do these couple. Get these all done. Get that off there. Where's me uh, stickeroo is there. Stickeroo, this is what we do with a lot of stuff. Like with this one here. <sighs> Poke this down inside it. So we don't get our fingers in there. Push it out. So that the barcode's out. Just need an ordinary bar, but we use this one here. This used to go as a tire lever to get your hubcaps off. You use what you can and what you get when you got it. Right, this one here is just a stick on sticker. Take that off there, that can go straight in the bin. I'll finish with those. Right, grab the heater gun. Show you how we do the ones that the label is actually like when they go through the checkout and they've got one of these authorised stickers over the barcode. Bit of heat, bit of heat. Mind the mess. Mind the mess. Get my fingers out of there. Right, just give it a low heat. Get my fingers out of the road so they don't get burnt. Don't put it right on it. Just got to warm it up a bit. Patience. I can feel the heat starting to come through. through. We don't want it on high. Then we should be able to. I didn't get that hot enough. Yes, I did. You gotta be careful you don't put too much heat into it. Because it'll stick to it permanently. There we go. It's coming off like factory. That can go into there. That. That. In the bag. Jeez, it got dark quick. Okay, cast aluminium. We'll come back for that. Oh, there's another one down there. Another one there. Take that off that. He's done. And the bottles can come this way. That's got to go on the bench. I'll do them myself. Ah, uh, we've got a tub of glass in here. Right here. Like I said, I've got everything everywhere at the moment. I haven't had a chance to get things out of here and sort it out. Right there. We've got a lid into there. That can go in the trash that there right well that's definitely 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 the car sorted right let's go and empty this bucket out of water and put that there it's ready to rock and roll this bag's only got a little bit more to go so we're not quite ready for a video on that and we'll go water our tree favorite shady tree Keeps the shed nice and cool. You can see where I've been pouring it. I forget to whip snip. But anyway, just a short one for you all. Showing you what I do when I've come home from. Look at this, the following day. Got a zippy tie there, I didn't even know. Um, following day from last night. And uh, yeah. Oh, that one's ready to rock and roll. Good oh. Go straight down to Cast Alloy. We took that over too. That one's got a bit of brass in it, so we've got a bit of maintenance to do to that one. And uh, I tell you what, it's amazing what you can get off good old eBay. I actually purchased this charger and this battery off eBay. Um, and because this one over here, it's 
charges sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. It's for the Hitachi um, 18 volt cordless drill and this sort of machine and grinder and yeah. But I, I'm only using it for the drill. I think I've got it over here. I have for this one. She's a she's a heavy duty one. It's got impact on it, hammer, high low speed, four reverse. Uh, purchased the batteries. Good off good old eBay. They're the aftermarket one. So yeah, 18 volt, 5 amp hour, 90 watt hours. They seem to last a fair long, fair while. And just recently, I stumbled across. Here we go. Here we go. You might have seen this on the bench. This is an adapter. I was surprised you could get these things. It's not going to come off there now. Here we go. Because I found this in the, one of the dumpsters. Had the Ozito battery. You can get them for, say, those batteries as well. These adapters. Um, all you got to do is do a search. That goes on this way. All right, that's not going to come off. It's cl clicked in. Unclick. Click it in. Now, I was really surprised. I thought I ordered it for the Hitachi drill. Really surprised that I went back into my listing and she works. I won't say no to that. So you never, oh, I've got an air compressor there too. Super, the air compressor works. Now that I've got that adapter, who? Time to find if it works. Into the dark. Where's that compressor? Right there. Things I save. Come here, compressor. It's a battery operated compressor. The Makita. Here it is. Here. It's got the digital display. Unhook that. Put that up there. Hook that onto that. I tell you what, I won't be throwing no more Makita tools away. Not if I find them. That's going on okay. It's on there. How do you know that it's no it's not clicked in properly? How do you know whether you turn it on here? How do you turn it on? She's not going on. Oh, down here. Power button. Woohoo! Does work. Oh yeah. Oh, I can put up to 15 psi. <laughs> yeah. I have not been able to test this stuff because I haven't had the um, adapters or batteries or anything like that. So that's a bonus. Oh, that's a bit hard on the old thumb. We're going to test this. Ooh, 50 psi and it cut out. I got good skin. <laughs> oh, it was set for 50 psi. We're going to go 65, 70. We'll go 70. Back in the, oh, okay, come on. Go 70, 70, please. Here we go. Oh, I can't press that. <laughs> anyway, it does work. That's a bonus. I'm glad with that. Uh -huh. So, yeah, oh, it's even got a little light on the front. Look at that. Anyway, we'll turn him off, save our battery. Bonus, bonus. But anyway, um, just thought I'd tag you along on this one. Well, let's just tag along on this one for... Uh, find out whether these machines work or not they do work which is good marvelous so i'll plug water into this one plug water into that one get me drainos going down that little hole there um that goes into a resorption trench we're not on town septic or anything here so we're all on septic tank so yeah but anyway i uh, hope you've enjoyed tag along with me on this one everyone probably go and pick out Go and get some more stuff tomorrow. No camera needed for that one. Don't know whether it might be, ha might be happening or not. But anyway, I've um, got a little bit more work to do around here tomorrow as well. Got more rails to do. Got a leaky ho pipe over here. I've got to notify the plumber. I'm not allowed to fix no plumbing. I'm only allowed to do all the gardening, watering, cleaning barbecues in the summer. Um, so that's why I got stuck into all of this scrap. So I do get a bit of spare time, not much, but they always put work on me during the winter. So, but anyway, hope you enjoyed tagging along with me in this one, everyone. And uh, if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. 
So until next time, everyone, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!